Okay, now we want to see how to create a PowerPoint file with just uh, Python. So to do this, we um, we need a module that we need to install with pip install python pptx. Uh, after you made this in the command line, of course, not here. Okay, uh, pip install python dash pptx you will install it this module and uh, now I, I don't have internet so you will see this um, then after you installed python pptx you are going to you are going to uh, do this from pptx import presentation that is a class that we need to create a presentation let's call it prs as an abbreviation of presentation and so let's create an instance of, of the class after you made this. We want to create uh, our slides uh, making a list of the of the title and the content of each slide into a list that will be iterated. For example we create a list this way and into this list each slide will consist of a title of the slide and well this will be the title of the presentation then we we have the content that is a sub title of presentation and then we will have uh, the number of the layout that for the first slides is number zero And uh, the second slide will be the f the first slide, and so this will be the this will have uh, the title of a, of a title of paragraph. Okay, if we want to say so, content will be a bullet list, and then we will say one to indicate the type of layout that PowerPoint has in uh, in its power list. Now you know this is the the layout number zero like this and this is the layout number one this is the the bullet that I'm talking about. Let's close this we will see that we will create this automatically with with Python. So here we got our slides right but to to create the slides uh, we should make this we should use I wanna say it uh, now uh, PRS the presentation instance with um, we we have to we make this but then we will create a, a class um, slide layouts Out number zero, for example, will give me uh, the the first slides that we seen in PowerPoint before. Okay, let's see. This is a slide with the um, the layout zero. Okay, and let's call this let's call this layout for now. But we are going to change it as you will see. Then, uh, after we choose the layout, we are going to create a slide that is equal to PR, prs dot slides dot add add slide with 
with that layout. So we apply the layout to our new slide that is light. Okay. After we made this, we have to give a title and a subtitle to the text. So we are going to use uh, another method that is other attributes that is title to the shapes and uh, and the placeholder for the subtitle. So uh, the title will be the slide. So we are referring to this slides dot shapes. So it is shapes title. And then after we made this, we are going to title dot text equal okay title. But you know we want to make we want to use it the slides zero one slide zero is this and slide one is this or we could just use something like title of the presentation right but then we will modify the code and we will see it later how to make it reusable just not to write every time all this of this code there is a bit too much then subtitle equal slide dot placeholder this time placeholders placeholders one and then subtitle dot text equal a um a subtitle. Okay, so now let's see what happens um, to create a presentation at the end. PRS dot save my presentation dot pt pptx. As we uh, want to make it. Uh, appear without going to open it manually but using Python we're going to import OS and we are going to put here OS start file my presentation we are going to modify also this PPTX because we wanna make some function to make it more easy to to manage and okay let's see if there are no mistakes here it is title of the presentation and a subtitle that is what we've done here this is my title this is my subtitle so let's go and uh, here it is. I changed them and you see it changed changes also here. But I wanna um, I don't wanna write it it's time all this code. So I'm gonna use a class. So I'm gonna indent this, create a class called my slide and then uh, def in it. This is a class that we will call it and with self and data. Let's indent this. And uh, now I want to that uh, okay that the self dot layout will be will be this and instead of zero we are going to use date data data 2 okay and we will see later why I use because this data here will be a list of data 
came in from this well the, the data 2 will be this data 1 is this and data 0 is this so the data 2 will be as you will see later will be this so now the, the slide we will call it self slide we are using so creating a class and the layout will be the self layout then the title will be self title equals no, this will be the remain the same and here self title doc text equal this is my title self subtitle will be slide place older one and self self dot subtitle dot text will be this now instead of this I'm going to put data zero because you know data zero is this and instead of this I'm going to put data one because data one is this okay now how can I make um, the slide number one number two of course with a for next so for each slide in slides okay for each uh, slides and each slides is this content here so as this is zero slide zero slides one okay I'm going to call my slide S. So I'm gonna call this class and send to the class this um, this thing here, one of these each time. So the first time it will send this, the second time it will send this, and if I had other slides, it will send each slide in this uh, uh, in this list of lists. So here is what I have to change of my code. The rest can remain remain the same and uh, okay now what we have to do is to check if everything works okay let's save our file and let's run the code slide is not defined I think yes here I gonna write self slide because this is referred to this one so let's run it again okay and this is title of the presentation and the second slide is title of the paragraph and content bullet that is there it is the thing that we have uh, written in uh, we written in here okay if I add another slide uh, I'm gonna put a comma here the content content is this one that I'm writing just now and let's use another I don't know where it is but let's use another layout layout number two let's run it again there is a mistake because um, the file was open now I close the file I run again and here we have three now slides and let's run it this is the slide with layout 0 this is a slide with layout 1 and this is a slide with layout 2 okay and so on if you want to see the different layout you have to go somewhere here in um, in uh, let me see where is presentation well you know why you have to I think it it's here or somewhere now I visualization the scheme here maybe here it is this is uh, this is layout 0 layout 1 layout 2 3 4 and so on and I think 
that this code is is all you need to start using this is just a complete program that you can use to make it in an, another video we will see how to insert also images into our slides choosing uh, the right layout or even without any layout and for now uh, it's everything and see you in the next video thank you